Hey y'all, I hope you guys are doing well today. It is so hot. Oh my goodness, it just keeps getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Each time I sit down to film in the summer, I just, I cannot with the heat. So I apologize if the fan sounds loud. I do have my mic on, so I'm hoping that my mic will help but you can see I'm glistening a little bit, it is hot. Anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well today. I'm so excited to share with you guys my entire Chanel handbag collection. I have an affinity for Chanel. It was one of my first luxury brands that I really understood was luxury and just fell in love with and just had to have. So the fact that I'm even sitting here with more than like, one bag the fact that i have one bag it just it blows my mind i never really thought that i would be here and uh through the grace of god with a lot of things um i'm i'm doing pretty good you know despite the cancer thing and by the way i want to say thank you everybody for all the well wishes and prayers that you have been sending my way um someone's like in one of the comments they were like the fact that you just like absolutely not the cancer and that you gave it no power, that was literally like my mindset. I want this to have nothing to do with me, my body. We are going to go through this. We're going to be done with this. And I am actually on my last cycle for chemo. And so I'm really, really excited about that. I'm really, really happy about that. Um, so we are doing well. Before we jump into this collection though, I want to take a minute to plug myself a little bit. If you are new here and you haven't subscribed, please take a second to subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot. Also, if you are into planners, if you are into trying to be functional, if you are trying to organize your life, please check out the link down below for my newsletter. We are, we will rather be launching our monthly freebies for our newsletter subscribers starting in July. July 5th is when we are starting sending out these freebies. We have planned them, not planned them, we have created them all. We're just doing final little touches, but I am so excited for you guys to try these. Those of you who have tried the Morning Mindset Workbook that we created last year, you seem to really enjoy them. We've gotten really good feedback off of that little workbook that we have, little freebie that we have. And so I'm just so happy that it's working out for a lot of you guys. And I want to continue to share positive planning content with people. So check out that link below if you are interested in free planner content straight to your inbox. Okay, so let's just jump right into this collection. I think I'm gonna start with the bag I just most recently purchased and then kind of jump around who they are. But look at this beauty. This is the Wallet Unchained, the issue edition of it from the Metayart collection of 2020. The year everything went to hell in a hand basket, y'all. This bag right here is literally a unicorn piece. Look at it. So the special thing about this collection is that each bag was hand dyed, they hand dyed differently. So each bag is truly unique, truly one of a kind. And you kind of want that when you're spending this type of money on a bag, like this is mine. Nobody has anything else exactly like this. And so it just feels really special. I knew I had wanted this bag for quite some time, but I wasn't able to find a bag that really like called my attention. You all know that I'm a huge pink lover. So I thought originally I wanted one that was mostly pink. I saw mostly pink ones and I wasn't feeling it at all. This one right here, I'm not sure how well it'll come up on camera, but it's mostly pink with undertones of purple and red up here, which I just thought was absolutely lovely. And then you open it up to this underwater mermaid looking, just a masterpiece show right here. And then the back with the pure metallic pink on the pocket here with just these mermaid blues and purple. I thought was absolutely perfect. Like this literally is a dream bag. This bag was also from the Maison in Paris, originally bought there, the Rue Cambon store. 
No, I didn't purchase this there. I actually purchased this secondhand. All my bags were either purchased secondhand or through a personal shopper. Um, I have not bought in stores myself yet as I started buying during the pandemic. We will get into that in a little bit. But oh my goodness, this bag is so special to me. It is my bag for my 33rd birthday, uh, which was a special one for me. It was my first birthday having cancer, being cancer positive, how to, how to say it. Like I don't have cancer anymore, but going through the journey of treatments and you know everything like that. And the fact that I'm still alive and I'm here right now is just a positive thing. So I wanted I wanted to celebrate that. Now, granted, when I bought this bag, um, I wasn't expecting to go on a trip because I was told, you know, depending on what my numbers were, I probably wouldn't be able to travel. Uh, but my numbers were good <laughs> and so I was able to travel so I ended up splurging a lot more on my birthday than I meant to uh, but you know it all worked out it's all good uh, I was able to do so and I'm, I'm very thankful that I was able to do so but the wallet on chain is my favorite style bag from Chanel there is one more wallet on chain that I do want to get um, first of all I want you to get into the chains here, the chain on the reissue, it's just, it's jewelry. It's basically jewelry, um, which I believe what Bijou translates into anyway, is like jewelry or like these jewels or something like that. But, oh my goodness, it's just an absolute beautiful, beautiful bag. I do wanna say that this is a metallic bag. And so metallic bags are known to wear a little bit faster <laughs> than other type of bags with no finishing on it or not this type of finishing. Um, I got caught in the rain in the Lima Valley with this bag and so it rubbed up against my clothes. And so um, there are, I don't actually see them. I know they're here. Okay, yeah, right here. Um, there is some corner wear on this bag now. It was in immaculate condition when I got it. There is now some corner wear because it did get caught out in the rain. Um, that doesn't bother me at all, you know? I lived my life with this bag. I had fun, that was the point. Um, and you can't really see it. Um, you can't really see it. So I'm just gonna be a bit more careful with this bag now, um, but I'm still gonna use it. I'm still gonna have fun with it, just be a little bit more careful with it. The next bag I have to share with you is another bag that I bought for my birthday. I bought this for my birthday last year, my 32nd birthday, and this is a seasonal a jumbo piece in chevron. It looks black, but it's actually a really dark gray. As I've mentioned several times, black bags typically aren't my thing. I don't own many black bags. There was a point where I didn't own any black bags. I don't own many black bags because they just don't sing to my heart. But dark color bags, I think, is a good thing to have in your collection. And I wanted a jumbo. The thing is, I have weak wrist, I have a weak back, I have weak shoulders, so it had to be a single flap jumbo. And I was looking through some of the single flap jumbos, but then I saw this seasonal piece right here. It's a little bit bigger than a jumbo, but just like the classic jumbo, and it's a little bit smaller than the maxi. But what was perfect for me was the lining inside. It's all stuffed. Most of my bags are stuffed. But the lining inside is nylon. Is it nylon? It's like a cloth lining. So it is super, 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 super duper light. I love how light this bag is. You can notice I'm easily holding it like on my dad arm with like one hand with not a lot of problems. Like it's a super light bag and I love it. So you still get that jumbo feeling and not the weight which makes me so freaking happy now the chains on this are like crazy stupid long like stupid stupid long so i do have one of those strap adjusters on this bag right here um <laughs> So it's not like hanging down to my knees. I'm not super short or anything. I'm five, I'm just about five five. Um, so I'm not like short. I'm not tall, but I'm not I'm not short either. Um, and so I don't know why they made the straps for like the jumbos like ridiculously long. Like I, I don't know. I don't know who that serves. Um, 
but I was able to adjust the straps and this bag fits a literal ton. I can have my iPad in here, um, all my needs, like necessities in here, a little water bottle in here. Like I can really fit everything that I need to in this bag. Um, this one is a lambskin bag too. I love lambskin so much. I know a lot of people are afraid of lambskin because they're like, it scratches easily. It really does depend on what, like it's gonna sound grotesque, but like what the skin quality is like. Some lambskin is really soft and supple. Other lambskin is like tough. And so I have lambskin bags that I've gotten caught out in the rain and had no issues with. I've had lambskin bags that have like not scratched at all. And then this one, this is a really nice, soft, very, very soft lambskin. So she does have some scratches on her, uh, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. Um, I'm going to talk about the prices. I think I want to talk about the prices too. I'll go ahead and put the prices that I paid up on the screen, but I paid $2,500 for this bag, which is a lot, which is most expensive, but um, nowhere near the price that Chanel is going for today. So this was a very good deal. Let's talk about my first Chanel bag, which is this beautiful boy right here. Now I wish that you guys could see like just how this bag sparkles. Like you're not going to really see it that well. I'll try to see if I can get it outside for you guys so that you guys can see it better. But this bag is such a blinky of bag. It has iridescent chain mail in it. So it just shines with this rhinestone like finish. And oh my goodness, it's just a really special bag to me. What's crazy is this bag originally retailed for $7,500. Um, and I didn't pay anywhere near that much for it. Thank goodness. I ended up paying about $3,100 for this bag. People was either $3,100 or $3,400 for this bag. This was for my 30th birthday. And you know, it's a good consolation prize. So for my 30th birthday, the plan was we were going to go travel to Europe. We were going to start Iceland. We were going to go to uh, England. We were going to go to France. And I had an amazing plan. And then the pandemic hit and um, traveling was not happening, let alone with a newborn. <laughs> and so um, I ended up sinking a lot of the money that I had on tickets and hotels and that I was going to use for shopping over there anyway into just building up my Chanel collection. So that's where a lot of this came from. I had planned a big 30th birthday and pretty much all of it <laughs> went into Chanel, um, which I'm fine by. I still have these bags and um, they make me really, really happy. So, but yeah, the boy is such a nice bag. The only thing I don't really, well, there's a couple things I don't like about it. I have a blog uh, dedicated to my thoughts on the boy. I don't like that there's not a bag pocket with how big this bag is. A back pocket would have been absolutely amazing. Um, this right here, your hair can get caught in these knobs. Um, I've seen some people say they've like adjusted the knobs, but I'm not sure if they're actually meant to be adjusted, but I've seen some people say they've adjusted the knobs. Um, so, you know, you might be able to adjust the, the height of the chain, but I find it quite comfortable just the way it is. Um, I love this locking mechanism right here. What I don't like is with how big the bag is, they're like, and it's just one flap, single flap, which I love a single full flap. I love full flaps, but it just, it's awkward, right? Like it pulls up on the leather here and it's just, it's a little awkward to use the bag at times. It's just like a big boxy box, like a boxy box, but um, it's still a really beautiful bag. Now, one thing that happens a lot too is like, a lot of pressure happens right here, so it squeezes down here. So you wanna have a base shaper or like a bag organizer in there if you want it to keep its shape. Um, but you know, a lot of people don't mind, so that's okay. Um, but yeah, this bag is just so gorgeous. Now you'll notice that a lot of my bags have chevron, a lot of my bags are in a lambskin or a calfskin that's not caviar. Caviar actually isn't my favorite. I've tried to get into caviar and I just don't like it as much. It feels very plasticky, which is very good. It, 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 
It's good for the longevity of the bag in some instances. Now, caviar is going to break down over time as well. It's not going to be as robust forever. Um, but there is something just so elegant about leather, just the way that it is that I really enjoy. Um, so I like this calf skin. I like the lamb skin and whatnot. I think it's very beautiful. It looks very beautiful and luxurious. It feels very luxurious too. But yeah, I, I do love wearing her. She's a little bit more cumbersome um, than some of my other bags, but it is a very nice bag to wear. I like wearing her casually just because she's a little bit big to be like a night out bag, but I've taken her on a couple of day nights and I've had a lot of fun. First, I went to go look for my first Chanel bag. I knew it had to be pink. I was thinking it was gonna be like a warmer pink. It was gonna be quilted. It was going to be gold. And I found, like I fell in love with this one. Like I saw it, just the shine is absolutely money. And I learned that I like Chevron over quilted. I do have quilted bags, but I love Chevron over quilting. And I love silver hardware. I love gold. Gold, I think, looks better on me because I have more of a warmer skin tone. But silver works really well for me, too. And yeah, I love silver. I love chevron. And so you'll see a lot of silver and a lot of chevron in this collection. Okay, so moving on, a bag that isn't a birthday bag. <sighs> oh, this little bag right here. So it doesn't come with these pearl handles right here. Actually, since it's pearl handle up here. On, but this was the Coco Candy Walla Clutch on Chain that I picked up from Fashion File. This one actually almost sent me into labor early. So I picked this up for myself because I was having my last child, my daughter, and I saw this go on Fashion File for close to the price that it was actually had sold in stores. I had to out on it in stores because I live in the middle of nowhere. Um, so when I saw the price for it, I'm just like, that's the same price that was going for in stores. It's on Fashion File in new condition. So I jumped on it. And when it arrived, they had the chain like pressed up against the leather so much that like it indented the leather. And then there was actually, um, maybe see it right here. I'll try to get a picture, but there's scuffing right there. And I'm like, this is a bag that has supposedly never been used before. Why is there scuffing and why is there imprinting right here? So the imprinting has since lifted, but there is still scuffing. I reached out to Fashion File and they basically told me that, you know, the imprinting will go away, but the scuffing is, you know, I could return it and buy another one. The other ones that they have were significantly higher. I'm just like, that's not fair. They didn't disclose the scuffing right here. It was not in any of their images. And so I was like, I felt like I should have gotten a discount for that. After going back, back and forth, I did eventually get um, some credit for that, but it was very irritating having to go through that, especially in the last week of my pregnancy. Um, but I love this little bag so much. This one is perfect for date nights. Um, so it has like these little, it's basically like a card holder on a chain, all right? And it's this accordion style. You do not get all this space because the bag still has to close, but it does poof out just enough. I can get some medication in here, those little travel pill bottles, all the important cards that I need. Um, I've even got like a little hand sanitizer in here and a little tiny lotion. Had everything that I needed for a quick date night out with my hubby and it's just it's just such a cute bag. I've also worn this as a belt bag, which is just a really cute style to do as well. And I, I just, I love it. It's such a useful a little bag to have. Now this is Bougie's uh, coach belt version like this. That is way, 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 way cheaper, way cheaper. It's still just as cute. So if you don't feel like you have to be suckered in by these tiny little bags because they do not make sense for the price that you pay for them. Um, but I ended up picking this one for just under $1,200 Moving on, I want to talk about one of my favorite bags and it's not pink. Most of my bags you'll notice are pink or cream color. That's what I tend to gravitate towards. I, I do well with lighter colors, but this is the Chanel reissue in this gorgeous, like, icy skyish blue it's blue in a lot of lights sometimes it comes out more gray it really just depends on 
what light you're on, uh, what light you're in, but it's coming out pretty blue here, which is what I saw in line and I fell in love with it. Like, oh my goodness, is this not just a gorgeous bag? This is the re mini reissue, not to be confused with the reissue 224, which has the double flap. The mini reissue does not have the double flap. And as we know, I am not a fan of the double flap. Talk about that later. Um, but I absolutely love this bag. One, from afar, most people aren't going to be able to tell that this is a Chanel bag. They're going to be able to tell that it's Chanel inspired, but they're not going to know that it's a Chanel bag, which I really like for security reasons. So I wear this bag quite often. I love the chevron filting on this bag. It just makes it feel so nice and youthful. I love the distressing on this bag. It has like just this aged feel to it. It's like hard but chic at the same time and what I really love is this chain this chain is absolutely beautiful like I said I love the bijou style chain if you didn't know the bijou style chain has engraving on it as well it's kind of like a floral uh floor de lis type engraving on it and it's just so detailed it is so stinking pretty I love this bag I wore this bag along with my Speedy Kitty a lot at Disneyland. I had such a great time with it. I did end up getting some color transfer on the back here when I took it to Disneyland. I have a video showing you how I cleaned up most of that color transfer months later because I did not pay attention when I originally initially got the color transfer with this bag, um, but I was able to clean up most of the color transfer and I absolutely love this bag. Now, I do want to talk about Chanel quality because this is the newest bag that I have from Chanel and that it's like the youngest one created. This bag is from 2022. It has the, um, the, the what's it called? The um, RFID tag in it. Um, so it didn't come with a uh, Chanel authentication card. Uh, so it's a very new bag and immediately I started getting wear on the corners right here uh, and on the sides right here that I have not seen in some of my older Chanel bags, some bags that are 10 years plus, some bags that are vintage. Um, this bag is wearing quite quickly. I feel like any bag after 2020 with Chanel, just the quality is not there. This is also um, calfskin as well. And this calfskin feels very tough compared to this calfskin right here, which is very soft. Um, like you can tell like there's more coating on this calfskin versus that there's not on this one. Now this is an aged calfskin style, so maybe that's why it feels a little more plasticky, but the boy bag for all its structure is a lot more supple than this bag is here. Now I love this bag to death. This was actually a Valentine's Day gift from my husband, so I really, really love it. But um, yeah, just the quality of this bag is not the same and it's not as soft as my other bags. So I know some people say that people are only complaining about Chanel because it's getting more expensive, but the quality is like, at least from what I'm feeling, the quality is going down, which is a shame, but I have a feeling a lot of that has to do with supply chain issues. Um, I do have some physical planner goods and I know what a mess it was to try to secure just materials and get things the way you want it and I couldn't even imagine how hard it would be on the scale of such a big business like these luxury Nissan houses and so um, just be careful with the bags that you're getting nowadays because I, I do not think the quality is there and I think it's not there because it's hard to get sources. Okay, I had to take a break because my camera was starting to get overheated and whatnot. And this time I didn't let her shut down on me. I retouched up my lipstick, by the way. I was using this Chanel Lip Duo right here. I'll leave a link for it down below and also my blog post about it. I love these lipsticks. The shine kind of wore down, but the lipstick pretty much stays all day. It's a really nice 
lipstick. I do want to try to find a like all day like stain proof lipstick that's not as expensive as these. These have gone up about 10% in the two years, which is crazy <laughs> to me. It's already expensive lipstick, um, but it's a very nice lipstick. If you want to splurge on yourself, go ahead and try these out. So um, let's do another birthday bag. My only black Chanel bag, which is this bag right here. Now, this bag is special. This was my, well, all these bags are special, right? <laughs> but this was my birthday bag for 2021. And it is just, oh, it's so, so pretty. Um, was it 2021? It's 2022. Oh, I can't remember. I think it was 2021 though. I'm pretty sure I got this for 2021. I had it written down in the blog so I can check that later. Um, but this bag is as old as I am. This is a series one bag. So between 1989 and 1990, it is black. It is in Jersey. Um, and look how great condition this bag is. There is no tugging or anything like that anywhere in this bag. And it has the 24 karat gold plated hardware. So she just screams luxury to me. I love using this bag. I generally take this bag out on date nights, though this was the bag I took with me when I had my surgery up in Spokane. Um, just a gorgeous bag. She has that burgundy interior. So this kind of just met my quota for having that classic black Chanel bag. No, it's not in leather. Um, but like I said, I'm not really a black bag type of girl, but when I need a black bag and I want it to be something a little bit more classy, this is the one I go for. Like, look at this chain too. Oh my goodness. Just Chanel doesn't do it like they used to do it. That gold, absolutely immaculate. I love just the beautiful 24 karat gold that they used to do it. Oh my goodness. With the prices that they're going for nowadays, they, they need to bring it back. They really need to bring it back. But this is really beautiful. Now this is a full flap bag. Like I said, I love a full flap bag. Um, and this is the walk, the old style of the walk back from um, the 80s, 90s. Now this was my birthday bag from 2021. This bag also is as old as I am, a series one, and she is in lamb skin leather. This is an off-white classic. Uh, my only classic in my collection, as it is a double flap, and I have found out I do not like double flap bags, but I absolutely love this bag. This bag is a stunner. I have worn this bag so many times. I absolutely love it. Again, she's in the 24 karat plated gold, off white, and I have like a little bag insert in here, full of leather because it is a classic bag. A lot of the, although a lot of my bags are, are full leather. I think the only one that's not full leather is the one I just showed you, um, the Jersey one, and then my Dumbo. Um, they are not full leather bags. Other than that, every single bag that I own is full leather. It has the pocket in the back, and then that classic little love over pocket over here. But you can fit like maybe a pin. You can't really do anything else in it. Um, I know some people say you can fit stuff back here, but that's not a pocket. That's just like where the bag connects, but it's not a pocket. Um, and you can pop a stitch if you shove too much back there. Um, and then you have like this little button here to button it up. I do not do that because the bag's already cumbersome enough. So um, I just, I love the turn lock though. It's absolutely beautiful get you guys into it a little bit more. Now I do want to send this bag off for repair because the bag is dirty and this lambskin is so buttery smooth that it marks. So it doesn't scratch easily but it absorbs water really easily and so it will leave a stain if you try to clean it. I tried to clean it and I got a little stain right there. That's my backed off. It's like, I need someone who is more professional with leather than I am to work with this bag. Um, but I have still used it. I have used a microfiber cloth after I wear it, especially if I'm wearing it with jeans, so that 
no further transfer takes place. Um, and then I have no problem conditioning this bag. So I'll take a microfiber cloth and I'll use just the tattest bit of conditioner um, to condition this bag. And I have not gotten any further stain on it since. So that is nice. Um, but oh my goodness, this bag is beautiful. Now the handles are a little out of control. That's where you're seeing like the most staining from is on this leather right here um but a bag that is almost 35 years old it's in wonderful wonderful condition i enjoy using this bag a lot um but i don't think i would ever buy another classic flap from chanel just because i, I really don't like the double flap and they don't make sense to me the minis make sense to me but the classic flaps double flat this doesn't make sense to me but i love this one and this one is sticking around since we're on a vintage bag kick this is my chocolate bar i have a blog post in search of chocolate perfection i was searching for this bag for such a long time i remember seeing this bag in high school actually and i just love the squares of this bag like look at this square it's like a little vanilla chocolate bar this was such a big thing for such a long time that it kind of went away and then they used to be really really cheap to get i ended up paying thousands like just over a thousand, I think, for this bag in 2021. Um, and I absolutely love this bag. I did need to rehab this bag a little bit as there was like a lot of corner wear. So I was able to paint match it and just kind of fix this bag up. Um, I had wanted a chocolate bar in gold, but the one that I got in gold, they ended up changing their mind. They refunded me, but they're just like, they want to keep it. And then this one popped up and I just went ahead and grabbed it. But I think the silver is a good look for this as well. And the color is absolutely beautiful. It's a clear beige color. Um, and I always wanted a clear beige Chanel. And so this kind of satisfied that tick mark for me. Um, now the chocolate bar is a seasonal piece, but it was around for a long time. It is about the size of a medium flap, um, but it's going to fit more because it does not have the double flap. I do also have it. I have the medium flap um, uh, insert in here. Um, now, I was going to say, although this is a seasonal bag, it is a fully leather bag. Some of your chocolate bars out there are going to have nylon, um, you know, lining on the inside, but this one is a full leather bag. So it is really luxurious and she feels so nice like i wish you guys could reach the screen and feel this bag it just feels quality it's absolutely quality um it also has the back mona lisa smile pocket back here it is in great condition and this is just a great bag this is more of a casual bag for me so i wear this bag out to the bar a lot when i'm hanging out with my friends and whatnot it's just a great bag now i also wear this bag when i'm going out to like lunches and stuff with my kids so um i pulled it all out when i was filming here last but there was just like a whole bunch of crowns on the inside here and um it's just a great bag to use every day i absolutely love i love all my bags i love this one i love all my bags though like that's the reason why i have them. i'm very I'm not the type of person that will go out and buy bags just because it's the hot thing. I'm very slow. People are going to call this like a completely tourist thing, but I'm very slow to action when it comes to getting a bag. But once I know I want that bag, that bag is probably going to stay in my collection forever. Um, and yeah, I just, I just love, I love having a more curated collection of pieces that I know I want to have versus just going out and buy it because it's the hot thing and then selling it on later. Okay, moving on, we only have about three more bags left. So let me talk about my rectangular mini here. Uh, I'm gonna keep saying this. I absolutely love this one. I love all of them. So I got this bag in, I want to say April of 2021. I was pregnant with my daughter, I believe, when I got this bag, and it was just such a special gift um, because I, I want to say this was my third Chanel bag. So I had gotten the boy, 
and then I had gotten another bag. I'll talk about that in a little bit. And then I got this bag right here. And I didn't think I would have another Chanel bag. I didn't think I would have rectangular mini. This was at the time when rectangular minis were being gobbled up all over the place because everybody was buying because there was nothing to do but the pandemic. Um, and yeah, like I wear this one a lot. This is this one. Um, my walks and this one are probably my most worn ones. And then also the chocolate bar. I wear the chocolate bar a lot. Um, so, but this one gets a lot of use. Now, this one is a very light color bag. It is a pink bag, but in some lights, it's more kind of like purplish, lilacish color. Uh, it is a gorgeous bag. Um, I have not gotten any color transfer on this bag right here. And although she is, and this is my little insert from Zimoni, although she's a very light color bag, um, I have not gotten any color transfer. I think part of that is because this is a more robust lambskin. Um, some lambskin is very soft and delicate, like uh, this lambskin right here. It's very soft, it's very squishy, it's very delicate. Um, but this one is not. This one is a very sturdy lambskin. Now, it did come with some scratches on it. These scratches aren't buffing out um, because of how robust this lambskin is. Once something scratches it, it's kind of in there. But the good thing is this doesn't get scratched very easily. Um, I have long nails and I have not gotten any more scratches on this bag. Uh, but I think the mini is kind of just the perfect size for daily use. Um, I particularly like the rectangle mini. I do have the square mini and we'll talk about that in a second. The rectangle mini is just the perfect length. The square mini works for me very well because I'm not, I'm like an average size, so average height. So the square mini does work for me, but if you are taller, the square mini is gonna hit like in a really awkward place for you. So probably not the best bag to use for you. But this one, um, I think this bag works well for everyone. Again, I have a, like a nice little insert in here. And I don't know, this bag is just, this bag is absolutely perfect. I bought this bag for, oh my goodness, I can't even remember. I have it on the black, on the black, on my blog post. Um, so I'll pull it up from there. Um, but yeah, this bag, it's just, I absolutely love it. Now I do want to say that the chains are not the best um, in that there is more wear on the leather on the chain. Um, so I would like to send this bag off for repair. I just get so scared sending my bags off to repair because like, what if something happens to them? Um, I don't want that to happen. You know, I don't want anything bad to happen. Um, like I'm worried for nothing all. These are professionals, um, but yeah, it is just such a beautiful, beautiful bag. Now there is wear in this bag as well. There's wear on the corners, uh, but this bag is over 10 years old. So a little bit of wear on the corners isn't something that bothers me, especially for a bag this old, but a bag like this, that is not even two years old, um, should not have the same wear as a bag like this that's over a decade old. Does that make sense? The fact that these two bags have about the same amount of wear and tear to them just doesn't make any sense to me, especially since this one is about a decade old and this one is not even two years old yet. Um, so I just, doesn't make sense to me. That's why I'm saying Chanel's quality is not the same, especially when the wear and tear on this and the wear and tear on this, you know, like it, it just, these bags being, you know, almost 10 years old, this one being three decades old, having the same wear and tear as a bag that's two years old, doesn't make any, any sense to me. Like, excuse me, there's no excuse for it. You know, there, there, there isn't, any excuse, especially since the prices of these bags have gone up, even in counting for inflation, prices of these bags have gone up. And so why am I paying more but getting less quality? It doesn't make much sense to me, which is why I don't think I'll be buying Chanel new in stores anymore. Um, I'll keep my eyes out for older versions of things. Um, 
but yeah, I don't know. I keep just saying, coming back to, I love this bag. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous pink. Um, yeah, it's just a gorgeous pink. It's easy to wear. It's just really beautiful. And I just have a lot of fun with this bag. So the next one is my square mini. I think the last blog post I have, which I need to go back and actually edit and put the photos in there. I wrote all these blogs like right before I got into my surgery. I didn't add the photos, but I had scheduled them out so they actually posted on my blog. My blog just looks a mess right now, but I am going to go back fix everything so it was pretty and aesthetic and actually useful um but i believe the last blog post that went up was about this movie right here and this is my square mini leather this one i believe was from 2012 or 2013 something like that and oh my gosh is this not like just a bright candy bag it is such a bright candy bag it's such a happy bag I know I got this one for around the $2,000 mark, but I can't remember exactly what I paid for this bag, but she is in this bright pink leather with the silver hardware and like, she's gorgeous. Now, the square minis fit a lot. They don't look like they fit a lot at all. They look like toys, but they actually do fit a lot. What's crazy is the square mini and the rectangular mini actually fit just as much in them as this bag right here. And look at that size difference, but they fit the same amount. And that's because of this double flap, which is just why I don't like the double flap. It just takes up so much space when I could have a small, nice compact bag that's fitting the same amount of stuff. Now, if you have like a bigger phone, it's not gonna fit. I typically carry a smaller phone, so I don't have that problem. Um, but yeah, this fits all my necessities in it. It fits perfectly and it's just a really, it's just a really beautiful bag. It does have a little zipper pocket back here. I used to kind of like stuff cash and stuff in the square. The rectangular one does too. I don't think I talked about that. Um, has the pocket in the back, which, oh, I have, I have a hotel key in there on Hilton. When did I say a Hilton? I'm a Marriott girl. I don't know when I, I don't know when I stayed in a Hilton, but um, it has a little pocket back here for, um, you know, if you want to put like little uh, hotel keys, I guess, or valet tickets and things like that. Um, but just an absolutely beautiful bag. Like I said, this bag is hitting vintage status soon as well. It is over 10 years old. There is a little bit of color transfer in the back and a little bit of sun tanning to it. Well, Peyton Leather, you really cannot fix it if it gets stained or if there's color transfer. Um, but everything on this bag is so minimal that you really have to look hard to find it. Um, so she's she's doing really, really good. Um, but I really enjoy using this one and it's just great. Okay. And the last bag I have to share with you is, I say I love all my bags, but this was my ride or die for a long time. This one was one of the bags I was thinking that was my most used ones. And it is the first block that I ever got in the Wallet Unchained in the 2019 Iridescent Collection with the Pearlescent CC. This bag is absolutely beautiful. I love the pearlescent on this. It is greenish, purplish pink. It's just an absolute beauty. You're not, you're not going to get just how beautiful this bag is and this light. It's, it's a gorgeous bag. I always get compliments when I wear this bag. People want to know what this bag is. It is just absolutely beautiful. So this is from 2019. This is in caviar and it is holding up fairly well. Um, I did do a blog post on the wear and tear from the iridescent collection from 2019 as I have several pieces from it. I lost my O case, unfortunately though. Um, I took it to Hawaii with me and we originally planned to stay in like two hotels. We ended up staying in multiple hotels. We ended up going to multiple locations and whatnot. 
my son was having a conniption. Um, but we were traveling to different hotels and I thought I had hacked it up um, at the main hotel that we were at. And I guess not. Um, by the time we had gotten to our last hotel and I noticed I didn't have it with me, I had called the hotel and they are still looking for it. I had called several hotels, but I know I didn't bring it with me to the other ones. And so he's lost right now. <laughs> I feel so, so, so dumb. I saw that someone said like they never actually take their luxury bags with them on vacation and they only take replicas, which I think is actually a really smart idea. I'm not sure if I want to buy replicas of my favorite bags to take with me on vacation if I just rather take my bags on vacation. I, I don't know though. After after losing my precious bow case, because I loved that as a college, I I'm scared. <laughs> I am scared. Um, but going back to this, um, this is just a gorgeous bag. I like using it for date nights a lot. I like using it for special events and functions. It's out there, right? It's very out there with how pink it is, but it's very, very beautiful. And I think it goes well with nice classic dress up and it gives my personality, right? Like I can be wearing an all black, nice dressy type dress, but then I have this and it just really shows my personality and it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. Okay, y'all. So this walk is my last authentic bag. I'm just gonna go on and on and circle about how much I love it, like I did with all my other bags because I love it <laughs> so much. It, oh my goodness, look at this pink. It is such, you cannot deny how beautiful this bag looks. It's such a gorgeous bag. But I'm just gonna go on and on and on about that. So that was the last of my authentic bags. I do have one replica. I picked this up at Goodwill and it's given me a good idea that I actually like this bag. And I think I am going to try to uh, purchase it. Like I could not just leave it at Goodwill. You just see it in front of your face like that. That's like, that's a sign to test this bag out. Um, but <laughs> this is my 19. To me, it's quite obviously a replica. Like the chain just, I don't know, chanel quality has gone down. So maybe the real one is like that, but the chain just doesn't seem to chain right to me. Um, and this is so flimsy. Like it just, it does in the, yeah, it's just flimsy. And I don't know, it, it, it's, I guess this one was supposed to be the goat skin and it doesn't, it just doesn't feel doesn't feel right right this quite clearly is a cheaper replica as well because there's like there's different qualities of replicas i have a post that i'm working on i'm um, about replicas i am personally how to say it i don't buy replicas anymore i bought them like when i was in high school and early on in college i don't buy them anymore more, but I'm not against them. I feel like they have a place in the fashion industry, just like everything else has a place. Um, but they're just generally not my thing. Um, but one of the good things about replicas is it's a good way to test out the style if you want it. I'm just, for me personally, I don't want to spend my money on something that I'm not going to get an investment back out of. Like these bags, if I sold them, they are true assets. So um, I may not make my money back, but I can get a fair amount of money for them. But these, I guess you could say it's an asset because I bought this for like 15 bucks at Goodwill, right? Um, so I guess you can call it an asset. Um, and that I probably could sell it for more if I wanted to as a known replica, um, but I'm not, I'm not gonna sell it. I want to give it to my kids, but I do like wearing this. Um, I like the size of it. I do feel like the 19 could be a good like mom casual like type Chanel bag for me. So I do think I want to invest in the 19. Um, and I probably would have settled on not getting it if I didn't get a chance to play around with this one. So I don't know. I'm glad that I find that. I'm glad that I found this. Um, it was a very good find to play with. Like I said, I do use this bag. I've taken it out on date nights. I've taken it around shopping and things like that. Um, I have another 
hotel key <laughs> right there. I've, I've been in hotels a lot, as you guys can see. Um, Joanne's receipts, that's part of office, office depot. And Joanne's, if it's not Joanne's, if it's not Home Depot, office max. <laughs> makes a lot of sense for where I go. As you guys can see, this one's chock full of stuff. So yeah, I do take this one out and I have a lot of fun with this one. This one to me is quite clearly a replica, um, but a great Goodwill find. Like I said, I couldn't just, I couldn't just leave it there. It's there for $15 and I got to try out um, the 19 style and I found out that I'm liking it. So that will probably be the next one that I buy would be the 19 okay and that is everything all of my chanel bags so what is that two four six eight ten eleven authentic bags and then my um bag from goodwill and then my missing bag which i am so sad about and i felt like after i lost that i was just like i don't deserve anything else and then i got some other things but <laughs> I feel like I'm laughing about it now. It took me a while to kind of get over that because it's just like, oh God, I felt so stupid. And they're still keeping an eye out for it. They're still looking for it. Uh, but oh my gosh, like I kind of hope they find it. I think it's just gone. I think somebody lucked up and you know, it is what it is, but I guess it makes space in my room for something else. That's how I'm gonna look at it now. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit all over the place. I thought I had some time and then I kept getting calls. My camera kept overheating. My child, my child just needed mommy. <laughs> it was just what happened. So life is life. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have questions on any of these bags, let me know. I can do my best to answer them. I do think I want to do some individual videos on like the vintage pieces as well as the minis because I think the minis are just such a great option and the walks too like the minis and the walks are like my best choice for chanel i think they're getting the most bang for your buck at that point if that's what you're going for um if you have any questions let me know i am doing my best to be more available online now i am feeling a lot more better and a lot more lucid now too so i'm very happy <laughs> about that again i want to say thank you everybody for your well wishes and your prayers like seriously uh it means a lot and I, I could not get through this without the help of god at all so um, i'm very thankful <laughs> for that i'm very thankful to be in the space that i'm in i'm very thankful for the health that i have right now i'm oh god thank god i'm almost done with at least the treatment uh the chemo and radiation part of this treatment uh so i'm very happy about that and i'm very happy and blessed that i get to have such a beautiful luxurious collection and a beautiful luxurious life um not everybody gets that and i am fully aware of that and i'm happy that uh, happy and blessed that uh get to be my life you know um very very thankful that we had the opportunity to put the work in for that uh, but now i'm rambling for sure uh, so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this chanel luxury collection um because have a wonderful day and night but everybody thanks for watching this and i'll talk to y'all later bye